if cos a plus b into sin c minus d is equal to cos a minus b into sin c plus d, then prove that tan a into tan b into tan c plus of tan d is equal to zero. Well, this question can easily be done with componendo and dividendo. And to understand componendo and dividendo, we are inserting one video clip here for a minute or two and you can understand componendo and dividendo and then you can come back to this question. We'll now understand the working of componendo and dividendo. If say we have a upon b is equal to c upon d and if we apply componendo and dividendo then it is a plus b upon a minus b on one side and c plus d upon c minus d on the other side. Remember, you cannot apply componendo dividendo on one side. So there has to be equation and then only you can apply componendo and dividendo. Now, if you want to perform dividendo and componendo, that is also possible. But in that case, In that case, you apply a minus b upon a plus b, which is equal to c minus d upon c plus d. Okay. Now, this rule is applicable in algebra, and you can use this in trigonometry and coordinate geometry too. Now, we hope that you have understood componendo and dividendo. See carefully the given condition. And now you have to do a smart work. Bring cos to one side and sine to the other side. That way you'll be able to get cos a plus b upon cos a minus b and sine c plus d upon sine c minus d. And if you apply component to n dividendo, then it is and now there are two possibilities if you have done trigonometry to the extent then cos a plus b plus cos a minus b is the direct formula. And if you haven't done because we are only doing questions based on addition and subtraction, then you can actually open it. Cos a cos b minus sin a sin b plus cos a cos b plus sin a sin b throughout. So I'm now using only the numerator. So after, just see, we can cancel this with this. After when you will solve everything, though uh, after completing the trigonometry, you will be able to understand probably in the fourth section when we'll talk about uh, the direct questions. In that case, you'll be perfect to directly apply cos A plus B plus cos A minus B as two cos A cos B. And same way, sine C plus D plus sine C minus D is directly to sine C cos D. And these formulas can be derived by simply expanding addition and subtraction formula. So, so let me write 2 cos A cos B for the numerator. 2 sin A sin B for the denominator with negative sign. The other side is 2 sin C cos a D. And the denominator turns to 2 cos C sin d. Now, we can cancel two from everywhere and you can you can see that because we need everything in tan so it is becoming 1 upon tan a 1 by after when you cancel two you can see that we'll be left with cos a cos b
and the other side is sine c cos d upon and since we need tan so we are now putting cos a by sin a as 1 by tan a so it is minus 1 upon tan a into tan b and the other side is tan c upon tan d by simply cross multiplying them we can get the answer and on transforming we get that is hence proved or sometimes you mark QED so this question can be done by expanding addition or subtraction formula or if you can directly use them it's allowed because that can be taken as sum to product so this is really a tricky question do watch other sessions videos like subscribe and share thank you very much